North Carolina announces new restrictions on gun shows in the wake of an accidental shooting in Raleigh that injured three people. Yeah, those new rules will impact future gun shows, including right here in western North Carolina at the Ag Center. And that's where News 13's Mario Boone is joining us live. What have you learned about this, Mario? Well, as you said, Larry, several changes on the way for the next gun show to hit the grounds of the Western North Carolina Ag Center. And one of those changes involves the use of this little device, a zip tie. Take a look. Gun shows lure thousands to the Western North Carolina Ag Center. This last gun show we had, it was about 10,000. From points in all directions. South Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia. At the next gun show here in March, there are new restrictions on the handling of firearms. The general public will come in to these doors and then they'll be they'll go through a metal detector there even. That's to stop anyone from entering with a concealed gun. But even before that, visitors must go through a checkpoint to determine if they have weapons in their car. If they do, they'll be instructed to come to the lower parking lot here. Then they'll come down the sidewalk. We'll have this barricaded off to force them into this first meeting room. Mm -hmm. That's where they'll actually check their firearms okay. there. And again, the key word here is safety. Safety and separation. The goal is to separate gun buyers from gun sellers so there's no repeat of the accidental triple shooting at a recent gun show in Raleigh. Safety. Okay. Just an extra measure of safety. But Ag Center manager Matt Buchanan says there's more. Guns must be outside their case, unloaded and locked with a zip tie. And if you're thinking of selling a gun in the parking lot, the new restrictions also ban that practice. And we'll have an officer in the parking lot that will check. Matt Buchanan tells me there has never been a, an accidental shooting here at the Western North Carolina Ag Center. He's hoping these new regulations will keep it that way. Reporting live in Pletcher tonight, I'm Mario Boone, News 13.